Happy Wednesday, everybody. Here's our screencast for day three. All right. The mall is giving away free movie tickets in one hour, my friend said. All right, so what do we got here? The first thing, uh, Jesus, what do you got? What, what do you think you, you take see? Take away the E in giving. Let's drop the E in giving. So let's spell that right. G-I-V-I-N-G. -I -I giving. Very good. The mall is giving away free movie tickets. Uh-oh. Uh Something's up with tickets. Uh, Ryan Harvey. When I'll circle things that are spelled wrong. T-I-C-K-E-T-S. Very good. Tickets. The mall's giving away free movie tickets in one hour. Uh-oh, so we have, what do we call this? Raise your hand if you know the answer. What do we call this? Chase Wiles. No, 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 no. What is this? One and one. What, 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 uh... What uh, grammar term do we use to describe words that sound the same but are spelled differently? A Boom! Ten cognacs for you, homeboy. That's uh, Cy Gullisack for those of you out in the uh, internet world. All right, so which one is correct? O-N-E or W-O-N? O-N-E, right? That's the number, right? We're talking about one hour. The mall is giving away free movie tickets in one hour, comma, my friend said. Where's the tagline? Where's the, where's the tagline? Hey, Zeus. My friend said. My friend said. And where is the speaking part? Uh, focus. The mall is giving away free movie tickets in one hour. And what did we hug? What did we wrap up that speaking part with? What do we call those? Uh, yeah, right up. No, these are not taglines. These are called what? Go ahead, up front again. I bet you know now. Quotation marks, yes. Tagline, the tagline tells us who said this. Who said this? My friend, right? My friend, right? All right, so uh, that's it for that one. Let's go down to number two. The mall's far away, but if we move fastly, we can make it. Comma, I said. All right. So what do we do here? What do we do here? Uh, Hussing. What do we need right here, Hussing? Right here. Because what they're trying to say is, they're trying to say the mall is. So how would you, how would you do that contract? Well, what do you need when you do a little contraction there? A comma? Not a comma. What's it called? Quotations. What? Quotations. No, it's not quotations. But it's, you're, 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 you guys are, you know, you're getting right. Uh, um, Matthew Edelman. Carrot. Well, that's a carrot. The carrot just shows where I want you to put this thing that I'm looking for. What's it called? Come on. Claire Bear. An apostrophe. It is called an apostrophe, yeah. right? So it's going to look like this. M, A. L L apostrophe S. You've seen that many, many times. The malls far away, but if the if we move fastly, we can make it. Uh oh. Can we just get rid of the L Y? If we move fast, we can make it. Comma. I said. What? Ooh. Ooh. Claire, say that louder. I was I was cooing over top of you. Go ahead. You need a comma in front of um, but because it's a conjunction. Yes, and here's why. The mall is the subject. As far away is the predicate. But if we, the subject, move fast, <coughs> comma, we or we can make it right. So we have two sentences here. That's why we need one. So very good. I think that's it. In fact, I know that's it. Where's the tagline here? Where's the tagline? Uh, Geisinger. I said. I said. And where's the speaking part? Harvey? There you go. And we wrap that speaking part in quotation marks. All right, moving right along. We're going to do number three. It says, underline the idiom. 
Then explain what the idiom means. All right? All right, so hold your horses is the idiom. Hold your horses, my friend said. I, I can't go until I fix my, the pedals on my bike. All right? So what, what, does, what does hold your horses mean? Does it mean that someone should go out and find a horse and hold on to it for dear life? Bevan, what does it mean? To wait or hold, hold on or um, hold on. or slow down or stop what you're doing. Slow down or stop, right? There we go. Yeah, that works. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, what's up? Go ahead. Sure. Yeah, that works. No, faster. faster, I think, works too. Faster. I think that what works because you're comparing it to the what you're already doing, right? Yeah. I changed I said to I was fine. That's fine. That's all. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. All right, number four. I'll let you go there, uh, KDB. It says write the adjectives in the correct order. And as soon as I get to the blank, you plug in the right one. I think it's time for you to get rid of that. Oh, no, it should be junky old bike. That junky old oh. bike. Junky old bike. Yeah, junky old bike. I said. Who said it? I said. I did. I and guess what? <laughs> We're going to learn about that, and that's going to be what? First person. First person. person. When the tagline says the, this in here, when it has I in it, it is first person. Okay? All right? All right. Now, that's it for that. So let's, let's take a look at, oh, you know what? I better close out my screencast. Tadero out. Bye.